gonna Ooh, get it. Uh-oh. Gary, this one right here is just for once again. Uh, I, you, you're not exaggerating, Gary, because this time Mara Lee is coming for Tristan's entire paycheck. Wow. And she is asking for a total of forty-seven thousand dollars a month in child support. Hello. Now, now the baby's a newborn. Damn. Uh, for their son Theo, and one million bucks to cover attorney's fees. Jesus okay, Christ. I'm I'm having flashbacks, so That's let me just money. try to get through the story. Yes, it's a lot of money. And Mara is claiming that she used to spend two thousand dollars per month in dining and five thousand per month on clothes, yeah, but she nice. hasn't been able to do so since Theo was born. Oh, because now she got to get a oh, probably she got to get a horse. Poor and her. Her. Oh, so poor Mara her. is also asking for the same accommodations as Tristan's first baby, Jesus. Mama Jordan Craig, who lives mm. in a luxurious mansion in L.A. Mm -hmm. She drives a luxury vehicle. <laughs> she dresses her child in designer clothing, and she receives forty thousand uh, in child support monthly. Wow. He about to be broke. You know what, Sherry? After all that, vacations. all I hear is the story of a woman who don't know how to budget. You know what I mean? Right. Like, right. Right. You gotta make Thank you, HK. Thank you, brother. How you gonna have a million dollar lawyer and you ain't making a million dollars? Right. 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 But he is responsible for the lawyer because she don't make no money. Right. He is going to be, they're going to put it, they got something in California called a disamaster. You put the amount of money you make in and it spits out what you're supposed to pay. Damn, you need, really? like, you need, a, you need, uh, you need to play an attorney. Or you, need to like, you, need play, you, need play, you need to be like a SVU law or something <laughs> okay. and be the main attorney on this show. Like a CSI disamaster. law. I know. You need to, <laughs> she knows everything. <laughs> He's a gonna be a broke rich man. Yeah. I bet you he's gonna have like maybe two, three more kids. Watch. Yeah. Watch. Well, I guarantee I you. Hope he's about not to be this in his way. 40s I... and 50s playing NBA in Europe to mm -hmm. pay for these kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> playing basketball in Croatia. I wish I could get pregnant, damn. If I could get pregnant, oh, I swear to God, I would oh, be pregnant bruh. so fast. Okay, so what's going on with the guy at the end? Like, that's not even funny. If he was a woman, he'll be pregnant so fast. Yeah, it's really not funny when you have people that's really trying to figure out how a man could carry a baby, which is totally out of order and unnatural. Not only that, you have so many people tied up into the family court system. A lot of people, mostly women, misusing that system. And then you have a lot of fathers and kids paying the price for it. Take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Click the notification bell for all updates. And if you're new, include new subscriber in the comments below. And I'm going to try my best to respond to all of you. Shout out to Delvin who sent this topic in, but you have a lot of people talking about this Tristan Thompson situation. NBA player Tristan Thompson, the ex-fiance of Khloe Kardashian, they have one kid together. But before he got with Khloe, he had another woman pregnant at the same time. He ended up moving on with Khloe and still had to pay the first woman, Jordan, $40,000 per month. While he was with Chloe, he stepped out and made a baby on her with this other woman. And that's the woman who's coming at him for child support. $47,000 per month, that's what she's looking for. She said that her expenses are $22,000 per month. I'm still trying to understand how you're trying to spend $22,000 per month you don't even have a job. So I'm assuming that she's looking for him to pay double her expenses so she will never have to work again. You see what these girls are doing. And this is not new. This has been happening for a long time now. These guys are their retirement plan. No longer are they just trying to get married to take your resources. You have the court holding men responsible not just for their kids, but they're making them responsible for the woman as well. This is a grown, able-bodied woman. Anybody with common sense and fairness can see that a newborn a little itty bitty newborn. What will that baby need that costs forty-seven thousand dollars per month? That's absolutely crazy. And then, because she doesn't have any money, she's gonna get the court to make you pay her legal fees. One million dollars. These attorneys are cashing out. The judges are getting bonuses. Everybody's making money off of him. And when Sherry Shepard was reporting this, she was saying, oh, I'm getting flashbacks. That's because she went through this as well, but not in the typical situation as a woman. She was able to experience how men get taken advantage of in court. She was ordered to pay child support for her ex-husband's baby that's not even hers. But because Sherry was the breadwinner, her ex-husband was able to get the court to side with him and make Sherry pay for a baby that wasn't biologically hers. So that's why she's got some type of understanding for the whole situation because what she's going through. But like I always say, when women hear about situations like this, it's like they celebrate, they're happy about it, but they don't think about it. Okay, wait, while all of y'all trying to be these independent, I don't need a man boss chicks, y'all wanna be the breadwinners, 
Are you ready to get some of this equality? Are you ready to be treated unfairly in family court? And I say unfairly because most of the time it is not fair for men. So are you ready to flip the script and let that be on you? Ladies, boss chicks, are you ready to be paying the alimony like Mary J. Blige? who had to go out working because she could barely pay her rent and her alimony at the same time, helping this guy take care of kids and she's never even had any kids. But you had a bunch of people in the comments on Facebook talking about this. And I will say this about Tristan. How many illegitimate kids do you have to have in order to learn your lesson? This is number three. Three babies, three baby mamas. The first one got him on child support, $40,000 per month. But then you have a third one. People like her in the first one, they have nothing to lose. So of course, they saw a sucker and they licked it. They saw somebody that was reckless. They saw somebody who didn't have any self-discipline. They took advantage of it. From my understanding, according to Kwame Brown, they learn about this in training as rookies. But even outside of a training, just common sense. At what point are you gonna have some self-discipline? You cannot rely on people who have nothing to lose to be responsible. In this case, when it comes to Tristan Thompson, he's gonna have to be responsible. He's the one with the resources. He's the target. So you're gonna have to protect yourself. And that's why I understand people like Drake and all the measures that he may take in order to protect himself. It's like riding around the Brinks truck and it's just wide open. The Brinks truck is built a certain way for the assets that they're carrying inside the truck for them to be protected. They have to move a certain way. It's certain safety precautions they have to take. With this third child and this latest lady that's trying to get all this money from him now, that was her whole goal, to catch you slipping and get your million dollar DNA so she could retire. So she could pay $5,000 per month with cheap looking clothes and designer names on them. That was the plan. Why would she go and terminate something that she planned to do? He out here thinking he on some player stuff, but he got these Valley 304s running game on him. How you got them running circles around you, Tristan? Literally texting her to terminate. And now her lawyers, they're now using all that against him in court. Come on, you know that girl not giving up that lottery ticket. She got to secure her 18 years of Forever 21 clothes. So yeah, the moral of the story is if you're a Brinks truck, you got to move different. You have women, the court system, everybody working in cahoots to try to get something out of you and take you for whatever they can. And honestly, a lot of men got to stop playing defense. Don't wait for her to take you to court. Take her to court and file for custody first. And we all know the court system is not fair. The biggest way to stop all of this is to stop ending up there. That's why more and more men are choosing not to have kids. So that's why these women right here, they have to find Tristan's. That's going to put three different babies in three different women. Special thank you to John from Texas. I appreciate you, John, for your support, as well as Prentice. Thank you, Prentice. Want to see more content like this? You can support the channel too. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis, want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.